It was set up about uh, 10 years ago to determine whether there are chronic effects of uh, air pollution in Southern California. Uh, it had been known for years that there are acute effects, that is, it'll make your eyes water, it'll make you cough, but the question is, does prolonged breathing of this kind of air result in permanent irreversible uh, damage to the lung? Dr. John Peters leads the team of scientists who conduct the study at the University of Southern California's Keck School of Medicine. The extensive study involves monitoring air quality, testing pollution samples, examining children's health, and then analyzing all the data collected. Dr. Jim Goderman heads up the statistical group that analyzes the data. They're trying to ultimately see whether kids who lived in high air pollution communities uh, had more respiratory symptoms or slower lung capacity growth. When I was a teenager, if we cannot see the mountain that day, we know it's going to be a bad day. Diesel trucks are a major culprit. Huge amounts of these pollutants are generated in the central part of Los Angeles County. And that diesel is bad. So bad, the California Air Resources Board has declared the tiny particles in diesel exhaust toxic. Exposure to the particles is linked to both cancer and asthma. The scientists chose to study 12 communities that are spread out within a 200-mile radius of downtown Los Angeles. A dedicated team of researchers visits every school in the study. They've been doing this each year since the study began in 1993. Each child fills out a questionnaire about his or her health. This information is used to determine how air pollution affects certain symptoms and conditions such as asthma, bronchitis, wheezing and cough. Now you want to take that mouthpiece and put it between your teeth. Each child undergoes an annual lung function test. Data from each year's results will show how fast their lungs are growing and how big they are getting. The researchers also monitor how many days of school each child misses each year to help figure out what kind of role air pollution plays in absenteeism. When healthy children, lungs grow as their bodies develop, but the greatest growth rate is during puberty. From ages 10 to 14, healthy children see their lungs grow by about 12 percent each year. By the late teens or early 20s, lungs have essentially stopped growing and then plateau until about age 30. Then lung function begins to decline at a rate of about 1 percent per year. Now take a child exposed to high levels of pollution. The children's health study shows that during the crucial puberty years, their lungs will grow 10 percent less each year. Over a period of four years, that's a significant deficit in lung function compared with kids growing up in low pollution neighborhoods. And the scientists do not yet know how this deficit will affect the rate of future lung growth. The study shows that today's air pollution levels are adversely affecting our children's health. There are relationships to asthma and lung disease and absence from school. It clearly shows we have to do more to clean our environment. The study's results have already led to a temporary ban on the building of new warehouses like these in the Mira Loma area.